Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go, go. Morning guys I think Benny Dom's wearing me out <laughs> I could have stayed in bed this morning. Uh, I'm not hungover. It's just, I had a look yesterday, I thought we'd done a lot of miles. I'd walked, well, including me running, 15 miles. So, I'm just out running with dogs. I wouldn't have got up out of bed, but um, I've got to go and uh, make sure that dogs is okay. Give them some exercise. So, wow, yeah, definitely feeling a bit worn out today. I'm not hungover though, knowing it as bad as the other day. Hopefully, after this run, it might make me feel better. Sometimes it does. So, let's see. It's a bit overcast today. Not as sunny like it was the other day. Um, it has forecast 22 degrees though this afternoon so we'll see come on guys but make sure you get your exercise in the morning don't we i should drive us mad in my room and here we are we're back come on guys only three miles today that's enough for me today at least it tires these guys out for a bit, keep them quiet. Oh, I'm shattered. I'm ready for my breakfast. After um, shop on campsite, I'm just gonna get some nice fresh bread. I'm gonna make some lovely bacon sandwiches. Starving this morning. Just gonna get John some chocolate. He's got a right sweet tooth, he has. I don't know, I can't eat this stuff. I not wish to get. Afternoon, guys. Seeing it's afternoon because we didn't get up this morning because uh, I were at it. Oh, bloody hell, I was loading that vlog up that's gone out this morning. Now we're at it till like, it must have been half past four this morning. God, and then I couldn't sleep when I went to bed because my head was spinning. So, uh, yeah, I had a bit of a lie in this morning. And uh, but welcome back to Bertie Bus, the one and only YouTube channel. So we're planning on going out somewhere. I don't know where yet. I'm just waiting on uh, Zoe. But we've had a revelation, guys! Wow! Big big shout out to Ivan, uh, who uh, stays on this site, uh, who's been watching his vlogs and uh, he used to be a mechanic and stuff and uh, he's come to talk to me about the problems with this van and you know what I was saying about them being connected now it's all come to light what I've done so yes the actuator needed changing because the original will have got water in it that's fair enough and then we had a, a copy one put on didn't we which were no good and now I've got the original Ivaco one fitted on again so it says I shouldn't have a problem with that so we did the right thing there but if you remember the clutch burnt out didn't it and I, and I was saying I remember saying oh it's not done much mileage and can't believe clutch has burnt out then we've had problems with it again since I've changed the actuator and turned the clutch slipping slightly again and so you remember and I'm saying but it's had a new clutch, I can't believe all these problems we've got with this van. Then I've mentioned about it missing when we're going uphill. And I'm saying it must be a fuel filter. There's not enough fuel getting to the engine. And that's, I was partly right with that. Because if he's watched our vlogs, and if you go right the way back our vlogs, I've had the engine remapped, aren't I? And when he had the engine remapped, they took it from 140 brake horsepower up to 180. Um, to its maximum. So basically when the engine remaps, uh, they retune it all. But it's like he's saying, the problem is because I've got an automatic gearbox. And this engine, 
he doesn't know that it's pulling a 6.7 ton motor on behind it. It just it's, it's it is what it is. It could be it could be in a, a standard van, couldn't it? It's a three liter engine, but it's pulling all this weight behind it. So I've had it remapped to give it more power. But to have it remapped, they put a leaner mixture fuel in because it's it's more economical as well. And I was saying I don't know why they don't do this as standard. Turns out there's a reason why they don't do this as standard. So one, with it missing when I'm going uphill, is because the engine is starved of fuel. Because the engine's wanting more fuel. And because it's on such a lean mixture, they've cut the fuel down. So it's not getting the fuel. So the engine's wanting to pull on the fuel, but the injectors aren't giving it the fuel. Um because it's all been changed, it's all been rejigged, hasn't it? So that's why it's missing. Added with that, the clutch problem, because I've given it more power, I've given it more torque, and again, because it's an automatic gearbox, the clutch can't cope with the extra brake horsepower that it's, that it's trying to pump into it, do you know what I mean? And the clutch is struggling, to, to deal with all this extra um, power that's coming through. So that's why my clutch is going. Well, that's why my clutch slips sometimes because it's it's trying to inject all this power into it that the clutch can't cope with. And the gearbox can't cope with it neither. I'm putting it under a massive strain um, and it can't deal with it. And it's knackering it up. All makes sense now, it all ties together now, doesn't it? So, I've got to have it uh, tamed down a little bit. They took it to max 180 brake horsepower. The, the standard is 140, basically I need it tweaking down. Maybe down to maybe 160. Um, I don't have to go down to 140, I don't think. But, but to tame it down, to give the chance for my gearbox and my clutch to catch up with this uh, power and that's why he says when I drive in manual I'm finding it not as bad because I'm controlling it then the automatic gearbox I can't control so it's having to deal with all this issue of more power and everything and the, the automatic side of the gearbox can't cope with it it's putting it under a lot, uh, lot of strain the manual that I'm driving it in I'm controlling it more and that also makes sense because I've said before and I've had to nurse it so when I'm going uphill and I've it started missing I take my foot off the accelerator uh, and I change gear and, and I'm riding it and again that's a sign of the mixture's all wrong with the van the weight of the van can't cope uh, with it all so that that also makes um a lot of more sense i'm giving giving the engine chance to catch up because i'm demanding too much of the engine driving up a hill when it's being chipped i'm powering it up the hill and obviously the van and the gearbox and everything else it's pulling all this weight and it's just putting such a strain on everything else the engine starved of fuel because of lean mixture and Clutches under strain and gearboxes under strain. Oh, it all makes sense now. Should never ever have had it remapped. So I've just got this, like it says, if I just drive it carefully, I'll probably be able to get around it. But unless I have it taken down power wise, I'm going to end up needing a new clutch again soon. And I'm going to have to repeat the whole process again because it's not designed for this. So, um, yeah, that makes a, an awful lot of sense. And he just says, take it really steady up hills, don't push it too much. Just take it, you know, slow it down and, you know, let give the engine a chance. Wow. I'm, uh, I've never even thought of that. No other mechanic has told me this before. But then I suppose they, they didn't know I've had it remapped, did they? So you plug a diagnostic check into this van, it's not going to come up with it being remapped, I wouldn't have thought. So they're all scratching their heads wondering what's going wrong with it. It's because I've had it I've had it all that done, Anna. That's what's wrong with the van. And that's what I need to sort out, so I need to do that ASAP now. So there's no point in booking in for the diagnostic check in Ivercore. It needs to go to an Ivercore garage to have a computer put on 
and it uh, and the brake horsepower taken down uh, maybe down to 160 and uh, just to give the van a fighting chance wow that's uh, blown me away that never never thought I said they were connected didn't I I said are they both connected together these faults and I'm thinking it's electronic and it's that it's that that's done it yeah he's around here just uh, going out for a Chinese meal where is it going so we're going to bamboo bamboo for a set Chinese meal yeah looking forward to this starving yeah absolutely I am actually <laughs> Wow, look, looks so nice with trees, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow, and here we are, bamboo. Let's see what this is like. You can hire cars here, Zoe. Yeah. So you that. Yeah, you might get your foot in there, Well, there's one thing for sure, you wouldn't get your bloody mouth in it, would we? So this is menu of the day. So for nine euros fifty, you can choose any of them as your main. And you get a starter, rice, a beer, and a coffee for afters. 10 50 euros is that section, 11 50 euros is that one, and the one I want is the sizzling chicken. Sizzling chicken, so mine's 11 euros 50. Where I get a starter, I get the rice, I get a drink, I get the sizzling chicken, and I get a coffee or a bowl of ice cream. Yeah? Oh, yeah, and then we're gonna have some, really gonna have some prawn toasts. Yeah. Yeah. You have what you want. So a kiddies menu is somewhere down here. You know, um, there's a kiddies menu for you. It's even cheaper. Yeah. No, it's not. Because I'm having a bottle of wine with mine. Whoa, with your bottle of wine. <laughs> no. It's a popular little spot, isn't it, darling? It is, yeah. It's quite busy. Yeah. Or for is it 17 euros 50? Yeah. You can have uh, like a buffet, as much as you can eat buffet, and unlimited drinks as well. So but if you're eating, we don't normally drink. I only have maybe five pints with my meal, <laughs> and so he normally has just uh, you know a couple of bottles of wine. But apart from that, we've gone for. With, with, with that menu. buffet. Uh, it's not one of those where you go up and get what you want. You have to order it. Yeah. Um, but then if you don't eat it, you charge um, five euros if what if you leave something. Yeah. Yeah. I've got me jug of wine. Still, got some jugs <laughs> there. Cheers. 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 So we've got crispy pancake roll. You like a sauce, isn't it? That's sweet. Sweet chili sauce. <laughs> Billy's doing what? Oh, I'll tell her don't do that. Oh, won't she let you mount, mount you? Oh, what the fuck? I told you to behave. Leave her alone. She ain't even fancy about it. Stop telling her off. She's been grumpy with you. You're fighting for a bed. I told you it won't be long, alright? Lay down and go to sleep, okay? We're not going to be long. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, poor day. <laughs> Do you know? Can't even two minutes, can you? <laughs> Complaining of a Miller. <laughs>
on, stop trying to mount her. Right? Listen to the music, the really shit music your mum's put on. You don't like music, you put on for it. It's good music. You said you don't mind like the music you've left on. Listen, it's crap. Listen, we're not going to be long, alright? We'll see you soon. Just lay down. Alright? Don't bring our SPC up, no. No, we're not abandoned yet. Right. Right, see you in a bit. Bye. Do you want to come and go? No, I'm all right, sweetheart. <laughs> you? You enjoyed that look? That was absolutely gorgeous, John. Thank you so much. It's all right, love. I cooked it myself. That was so nice. You're thanking me for it. That was. <laughs> this, this note, Zoe. The little buggers turn lights off with Motro. <laughs> honestly, I swear to God, he's a little bugger he is. <laughs> He's turned the lights off now, so we can't see him. You're looking better tonight, John. I'm really side. looking better. Well, because you've got these wispy little bits at the side. So what you've done is, on one side, you've put the long bits over the wispy bits. And you need to do that on the other side. Because you're trying to grow it, making it look thicker. No, let's get it right. You're trying to grow it to make it look thicker. Let's let's tell the story, shall we? So, Zoe doesn't want me to cut my ponytail, and what she decided is she's cut it too close, and I've ended up with like a squirrel patch across top. So she decided now she's going to let these side bits grow a bit out to make it wider, which is fine. But now these wispy bits that she's letting grow are now sticking up, and all like a bloody flock of seagulls. What the no, hell's going on with my hair? Bits, you need to grow the top the short bits. Hmm? Yeah, so it covers it all. Oh, well, How much? Um, well, it's 25 euros, so that's like about 22 pounds. And all that? Yeah. Wow. Um, I've had half a bottle of wine, we've had four beer, courses. Beer, coffee. <laughs> they offered us ice cream, I didn't want any, I was stuffed. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. Screaming up, yeah. <laughs> so, look, we can buy a new motor on me, look. <laughs> Get a new motor on my machine. Yeah, how much is it? I don't know. I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> you take your life in your own hands crossing this little bit here, because this is a highway for all the mobility scooters. And I'll tell you something, they're on top of them down here. It's like a highway from, from mobility scooters. Come on, Zoe. I'll be back in Warsaw. Come on. Come on, Zoe. I don't know. I'll be back in Warsaw. I'm right behind you, Zoe. Go on. Dog knocks me. Dog, dog knocks Oh baby. Oh baby. <laughs> The one and only 
YouTube channel. Like and subscribe now. Yay! It's two o'clock in the morning, John, and then when I get in, I want to go straight to bed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> promises, promises. Anyway, yeah, but I've still got a date, love. I've got a date, love. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys. You can't see me because it's gone really, really dark. Oh that's a good thing, what is <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's witty tonight. At least you're still standing. <laughs> yeah. That's a first. Good night. 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 <laughs> Shut up. Give it the dog said. Night night. Say hi to Andy and Jackie Zoe. Hi Andy and Jackie. Yay. She's a bit drunk, guys, again. Hey, Spenny Dome, I swear to God. It's breaking us. Well, it's breaking Zoe. But, uh, you know. Hi, guys. Oh, I'll just come through more trim. Here we are. Oh, I'm back again. Oh, here we are. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, hi, Andy and Jackie. Hope you all... Oh, God, even I'm drunk. Oh, Benny Dome, what's happening? <laughs> I hope you guys are okay and uh, you've had a good day and a big shout out to Andy and Jackie our subscribers we love you to bits if you subscribe to our channel we will give a shout out to all our subscribers thank you thank you thank you so 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 much however we do have rules um rightly or wrongly we won't give shout outs to uh, uh youtube channels does that sound bad that does sound really bad doesn't it but our channel is all about subscribers and it's all about you guys and we're not selling our uh, uh, channel as a platform for advertising. Does that make any sense? Anyway, we know what we're talking about. Um, it's all about subscribers and uh, no offence to any other YouTube channels at all. It's nothing personal, guys. Still friends. Still friends with YouTube channels, but um, yeah, it's a difficult one. Hey, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to sell this channel out, shall we say. No, are we doing paid promotions, guys? Um, you guys are worth more than that. It's all about you guys. It's all about our channel. It's all about our subscribers. I'm completely waffling on because I'm really, really drunk. But we're not going to sell this channel. You know what I mean? Keep it real. Subscribers only. You guys. We'll give you guys a shout out. No advertising. No, none of that stuff going on. So it's all about uh, one big happy family. Yay! God, I'm really, really drunk. Wow. What day? What day are we on? I got what day we're we on. Saturday. We're on Saturday. Anyway, guys, take care. See you later. Bye.